Something very, very important has happened in the TypeScript and Node world. Something so important that it's pulled me out of developing my TypeScript AI course. That's right, I'm working on an AI engineer course called AI Hero. It's going to be absolutely sick. The link is down in the description, but that's not important right now. What is important is that Node finally supports TypeScript with zero extra configuration. This is thanks to the awesome volunteer work from Marco Ippolito and the rest of the volunteers that make up the Node.js team. Yes, it's still experimental. Yes, it has limitations. Boom. Ooh, show me the code. All right, I will. As it currently stands, Node cannot run TypeScript files out of the box. I've created a TypeScript file with a type annotation of string here. I'm on the latest version of Node 22 here. If I try to run this, I'm going to get an error saying unknown file extension. I can get this working in Node 22 by adding this experimental strip types flag. This uses a cut down version of SWC to strip out the types and run the resulting code. What they have done is in Node 23, they have unflagged this experimental strip types. So we can run this entry.ts without any extra configuration, no extra flags. Let's grab the latest version of node and let's double check our node version. And now I can just run node entry.ts and it just works. There we go. It has happened. You probably have a lot of extra follow up questions like, does it type check your files? What should my TS config look like? Does it support enums and namespaces? And will it come to previous versions of Node? I can't update this YouTube video in real time, so I'm keeping this article, which is going to be the FAQ for all of your questions. It currently has answers to all of those questions and any more that will come up in this comment section. So again, go below if you want any answers to any of these questions. But I want to talk for a second about what this means for Node. This is a huge huge step forward in the Node ecosystem. A lot of folks on YouTube talk about Dino and Bun being Node killers. It's a very attractive way to title a YouTube video for sure. But the reality is that the more horses run in the race, the faster they all run. Node is the incumbent. It is the most popular JavaScript server runtime, and it's run by a team of volunteers. Node will move slower than Dino and Bun because they don't have people working on it full time. And having sponsored contributors siloed off in different parts of the world is fundamentally different to having people in San Francisco burning out code. So yeah, Node is an oil tanker. It is slow to turn, but it is turning. And shipping TypeScript support is one of the big differentiators between Node, Bun, and Dino. So. Hats off to them. So that's it. That's the big news. I'm going to go back to working on my AI course, go under my rock. If you want to see what I'm doing, it's at aihero.dev. Or if you just want a really amazing TypeScript course, go to totaltypescript.com. Thanks so much for joining along on this amazing day, and I will see you very soon.